78 Sports TV here. Salute to the mighty LDBC. Nice there, box community. For those who don't know, now you know. Smash the like button. Hit the subscribe. Also, hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when I drop a new video. If you're digging the video, go ahead and share this joint. All right, man. So, I watched the video that everybody, their mama sent me. I mean, it had to be at least 50 people on Instagram that sent me that video, plus text messages of the video. Um, let me see where it's from here. Uh, shout out to BDA Boxing, YouTube channel, BDA Boxing. Uh, their YouTube channel, they did an interview with the, well, they were doing a show, I guess, and the doctor called in, who's a viewer of the show, and gave some uh, insight as to what he believes is going on with Earl Spence. And, uh, and just so we know, sidebar real quick, um, that's how you do it right there. You see what I just did? You give a shout out to where you got the information. I don't know why so many YouTubers uh, are so egotistical and arrogant where they, they, they don't mind stealing information or getting information from somebody, but they have such a hard time telling people where they got the information. It's like, I don't know, that's, I don't know what that is. You know what I mean? Because I can't stand listening to a video like, okay, where'd you get the info from? Where, where the info? You got to go looking for it yourself, you know what I mean? But regardless of the fact. Um, what the guy did a video. Um, uh, the doctor came on there, a guy who, who he claims to be a doctor. I don't know if he's actually a doctor, so let me be very clear. Someone who claims to be a doctor called into the show and said that um, he believes Earl Spence Jr. is suffering from residual effects of a uh, some type of neurological damage. And um, he says uh, it's probably going back to the car accident uh, that he was in. And um, he made a lot of good points, you know what I'm saying? Some of the stuff is hard to argue with, uh, you know, when he how he put the pieces together. It was kind of hard to argue with a lot of the stuff he was saying. Um, he talked about Earl Spencer's eyes, which is something that I brought up. I didn't know what was going on with his eyes. You see the picture um, to the left of the screen. That's a picture of Earl Spence when he first arrived uh, at the T-Mobile Arena to face uh, Terrence Crawford. He's walking into the building, and I said then, I said he looked like he was high or sleepy, like he just woke up or something, or somebody slipped him an edible or something, you know what I mean? It just didn't look right for the biggest fight of your career for him to be like that, looking like that, you know what I'm saying? So I didn't understand it. I tried to upload the video to YouTube, but they blocked it immediately. Try to upload it to uh, Instagram. They blocked it immediately. So whatever. So I got I got this screenshot here. <clears throat> See how this worked. But regardless, um, this is what this is the, the that's the doctor's theory is that Earl is suffering and he doesn't think that Earl should fight anymore. He thinks Earl should retire from the sport of boxing. Um, you know what I mean? Now I know that that's gonna upset a lot of people okay if this information is even true we don't know if this is true or not right but um because it's going to sound like all right man you're taking away from Crawford win Crawford had the best performance of his career you know what I'm saying like why you know I get it uh but you gotta remember the first people to say that Earl Spence um was a, was not going to be the same fighter after that car accident who, who was the first people to say that that's right, Terrence Crawford fans. They came to every video. Oh man, Bud gonna destroy him. He ain't gonna be the same. The lifestyle and caught up with him. There's no way he's gonna be able to come back after that wreck and be the same fighter. And uh, that's why he was the underdog in Vegas because of the car accident. And people felt like that was gonna have some effects. Now I didn't feel like it was gonna have no any effects uh, worth talking about. You know what I'm saying? Um, but that's how a lot of people felt. So. Can't get mad now that it's being brought up. And also, I want to point something else out here that's very important. This is not the LDBC coming out with some excuse, right? This has nothing to do with us. All we're doing is reporting, right? I'm doing is reporting what was said by an alleged doctor on uh, BDA Boxing Channel on YouTube, Okay. Now, to my knowledge, I don't even know if this dude is black or what. You know, it doesn't matter. But this reminds me of the the Tyson Fury situation when Tyson Fury cheated Deontay Wilder in the second fight. Uh, remember, it was a, a white guy from Canada who dropped a video 
about Tyson Fury's gloves. And uh, that's what opened up the floodgates for Glove Gate. All right? And people start talking about that. But the, guess who got the blame? Oh, it's the LDBC making excuses and blah, 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 right? And everybody ignored the white guy from Canada. So let's not make that mistake again. This doctor here is saying this. So if any of this stuff ends up taking, you know, catching steam and it, it starts rolling and stuff and becomes a, a huge uh, snowball effect, um, this is not some excuse being made up by Earl Spence fans. Earl Spence himself said he's fine, right? Earl said he's fine, uh, that, you know, he going to bounce back, all that good stuff, you know what I mean? Earl didn't have any excuses, you know what I mean? As a matter of fact, this is what Earl, he said, he said, uh, he put this on uh, Instagram. He said, my head up like uh, like a nosebleed. He says, I was brought up in an old way where men don't uh, make excuses. Even if I had one, I wouldn't give it to you. All right? So this is what Earl Spence had to say. All right? So it's not Earl Spence or his fans saying this. This is a do- alleged doctor saying this, okay? <clears throat> but I do find it interesting that, um, you know, some of this stuff is, is real hard to argue against. You know what I'm saying? It's real hard to argue against. Um, you know, when you see Earl Spence go out there and fight the way he fought, it looked like he was off balance. Um, he was slow. Um, you know, you can you can attribute that to, that to just Terrence Crawford just being that good. You know what I'm saying? Um, you can attribute that to Terrence Crawford being that good. Earl Spence having a long layoff. A year and a half layoff, okay, um, and then you know coming in and fighting, you know Terrence Crawford, somebody of that that season. You can't really do that, you know. What I mean, I fight. That's funny because you know when when I talk about boxing history, and I tell people like you know uh, when we argue about Mike Tyson, I say, well, you know Mike Tyson, he beat Larry Holmes, you know what I'm saying? And they they'll tell me, oh man, Larry Holmes is old, washed up. By the time Mike Tyson fought him, man, Larry Holmes retired. He came out of retirement to, to fight. I said, man, Larry Holmes was only out for a year and a half. He was only out of boxing for a year and a half when Mike Tyson fought him. And then after Mike Tyson knocked him out, Larry Holmes came back, like, what, four or five years later and beat beat Ray Mercer, beat the mess out of Ray Mercer. And should have won a, a version of the, of, the, of the heavyweight crown at that point in time. <clears throat> but they didn't want to give it to him. But regardless of the fact, Earl Spence, I wish him the best, and I hope that he's okay. He says he's okay. I believe him. I'm going to rock with Earl on this. Um, but the, this stuff right here is very interesting. He's done, you know what I mean? I don't know what's up with his eyes, why they look like that. Um, I don't know if it's because he needed to wear his glasses or something. I don't know. I don't know. But that's why a good interview with Earl is needed right now. Um, I'm sure he won't take some time out with his family, but sooner or later, a good interview with Earl to ask some of these questions. Uh, if somebody point this stuff out to him, I want to hear what he say. Cause you know, when he had his slurred speech and stuff like that, um, I understood it because of his, um, he had the new teeth, you know, and it, it was making him talk funny with the new teeth. You know what I mean? So, uh, that was easily explained, but the other stuff, you know, I think Earl should, should, you know, talk to somebody he trusts and, you know, just get it checked out anyway. Still go get this checked out just in case. Get it checked out, you know what I mean, and see. Because, you know, boxing is corrupt, man. This is a corrupt a corrupt sport. It's run by the mob. You don't, you don't know what's what's going on in boxing, man. You know what I'm saying? Corrupt. We, we talk about the corruption every day, but then, when, you know, we turn a blind eye to the, to the corruption, right? Somebody just got robbed the other day. Who was it? Who got robbed the other day? Um, see, look, I already forgot. Um, somebody, oh yeah, yeah, somebody who George Cambosis was fighting. You know what I'm saying? Cambosis got a gift decision. Um, I forgot who the, who he's even fighting. That's how pathetic this is. Uh, that's that's what I'm saying, bro. Like, <laughs> we so used to corruption and boxing that we just it just you know it's an everyday thing. You know what I mean? Uh, one minute a guy. It's not even ranked in the, in the top uh, top 20 in the sanctioned body. Uh, then the next thing you know, without fighting anybody, he's ranked number five. You know what I mean? So how do those type of things happen? These are the things that fans just ignore 
on a day-to-day -day basis because uh, we don't want to get a foul taste in our mouth about the sport we're about to sit down and watch and enjoy, you know what I mean? But, you know, who knows, man? I don't know what's going on. Hopefully Earl is okay. I believe him. He said he's okay. So we're going to rock it out. Let me know what y'all think, man. What did y'all think of? Uh, do y'all think it's possible that he has some type of neurological damage? Seven Sports TV, salute to the mighty LDBC. Smash that like button, y'all. I'm a body hit out. Deuces.